Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome back to another episode. Uh, today, I'm just going to be talking a little bit about Christmas and why I love it, why it's beautiful, and I'm going to tell you guys the real meaning behind Christmas. Spoiler alert, it's not Jesus. <laughs> so basically, the main thesis of this video is consumerism is the thing that makes Christmas beautiful. All the lights, all the music, all the decorations, the gift exchange, all of that stuff. None of that requires Jesus. None of that requires any sort of Christianity or anything to to uh, believe in, I guess, to make Christmas beautiful. Um, also, there's family too. That's a big part of Christmas. But um, so I think I think that's not necessarily part of the consumerism part. But the consumerism is what distinguishes Christmas from the rest of the holidays, and it's why Christmas is so beautiful. So think about the beautiful things behind Christmas. The, you have the music, you have the gifts, you have um, the family, you have the lights, all that sort of stuff. And what is the purpose of all this stuff? Well, the lights, you have all the decorations and lights around, around stores to make stores look beautiful, to put them in the Christmas mood to get more customers, of course. Um, so that's one thing. That's one very beautiful part that ultimately comes down to consumerism. Of course, you also have the decorations around your house, but that's all something that you go buy from the store to make your house look beautiful. And it's just exchanging win-win values. You trade money for your decorations. And that's, I mean, once again, consumerism. They make you feel like, oh, it's Christmas spirit. Um, so you buy these things. And there's nothing wrong with that. It makes it makes us makes the houses look beautiful, makes everything beautiful, and make puts you in the Christmas spirit. Um, and then you have Christmas music. It's the same songs over and over again. However, you take there's all these different bands out there who were like, oh, we're gonna put our own twist on this Christmas song. So the amount of different variations of each Christmas song that I've heard throughout the years, it's in, so in, so. There's such a large amount, and it adds to all this diversity and really adds to that Christmas feel. It gives you any sort of genre um, that you want for this Christmas music. And once again, that is consumerism. You're getting, it's all these uh, different musicians who are basically entrepreneurs who are packaging these Christmas songs in their own sort of style and selling it to you essentially. And if you take gain value from it, then you buy it. That's ultimately what consumerism is or consumption is. It's you feel like there's something that's worth more value to you than your money, so you go and buy it. And that's a beautiful thing. I'm Consumerism is one of the most beautiful aspects of capitalism um, because you can buy beautiful things that you want. Um, obviously, there's an extent to which some people are become extremely materialistic and sacrifice money at an irrational level for, for things, but that is, that's not the case, really, um, with Christmas. Um, yeah, because you just get the lights, the music, all that sort of stuff. And then you have family. You obviously, spending time with family, that's something. It's not necessarily consumerism because you're not buying anything except for the gifts, which I'll get to later. Uh, and But spending time with family is obviously a selfish action because you gain material or spiritual value from these people because these are the people that raised you, essentially, and and usually gave you... I mean, if they raised you well, you're getting a lot of spiritual value from spending time with them. And a lot of your values do come from your family. Um, it's, not it's not necessary because, I mean, there's a lot of distinguishing values um, that you can have that distinguish you from your family. So if your family has certain negative aspects, you can distinguish, take away those things. But um, for people that love their family, which I definitely include myself in that, um, Christmas is a beautiful time of spiritual values. And it's very, it's absolutely selfish values. That love is a selfish thing because you gain spiritual value from the person. Um, and then the gift exchange. Um, once again, this is obviously consumerism. It's the idea of you're buying things for your loved ones. It's you go and make their lives better because they give you some sort of spiritual value. So you feel like you want to see them happy and you put you put thought into the sort of thing that you that you know about them, the things that you know about them, you put thought into the gift. Um, and it just is essentially a symbol of your love for the other person. Um, and a symbol of, yes, I take spiritual value in you, so I'm going to go to the store and go choose a present that I think you're going to love and buy that for you. Um, that's absolutely beautiful. And it's the same thing. They're giving you something too, which you gain all the value from that because it's like, oh, this person thought about me 
and values me enough to get me this gift that I like. Um, and even if it isn't necessarily something you like, it's still just that thought. It's that the pride that comes with that that is absolutely beautiful. Um, and once again, that's an aspect of consumerism that makes Christmas beautiful. And Christianity throughout history has only done, has only made Christmas worse. You have the Puritans back in, back in, uh, I don't remember when, like early, early, bef uh, pre uh, early colonial days, who did not celebrate Christmas because it was, it had too many pagan roots. It had devolved away from the true meaning of Christmas, which was, which to them was Jesus, um, the birth of Jesus. So they wanted to sit inside and pray all day. That doesn't sound very fun. That doesn't sound very beautiful. That sounds like a absolutely terrible time. Um, so, yeah. I mean, that's essentially what the meaning of Christmas is if, it, if it's just the religious meaning. It's you sit inside and uh, pray all day, make it a holy day to pray to Jesus all day. And if you, I mean, why would you give gifts? Because you're receiving gifts and that's selfish. And why would you go to the store and buy things? That's selfish. You're gaining value. And why would you sell things? Because that's selfish because you're getting people's money for goods. Um, all of those are selfish things. And take away from Jesus, which is the true meaning of Christmas. No, it's it's stupid that Jesus is not the true meaning of Christmas. Um, the Puritans didn't celebrate it because of the pagan roots. The pagan roots are what, are what makes Christmas beautiful. Um, and the consumerism, of course. Capitalism has made Christmas extremely beautiful. The lights, the music, the presents, the decorations, all of that stuff is are part of the things that make Christmas beautiful, along with family, of course. Um, but I'm more, the more the point of this video is to explain how consumerism makes Christmas beautiful and how Christianity essentially ruins Christmas by making it about sacrifice and making it about this baby who was born 2,000 years ago who, yeah, it, um, Christmas is essentially, the, the beauty of Christmas is taken away from by by the Christianity. Christianity is, at its essence, a sacrificial um, a sac sacrificial altruistic religion. It wants you to sacrifice. It doesn't want you to find beauty and find joy and take and find selfish value in things. Um, it's all about sacrifice. And that is, I mean, most people who celebrate Christmas, they claim it's about Jesus. They have all the, all the beautiful, like, nativity scenes and stuff like that. But that beauty is really a... Uh, a sort of consumeristic sort of thing because these people the businesses created these products that they thought you would find beautiful and take selfish value from their beauty and they gave them to you there's no production when christianity is the standard when altruism is the standard just look at the dark ages a terrible time no production no capitalism um it was basically subsistence farming the art wasn't that good um the art became beautiful during the renaissance once christianity became started to be questions a little bit once Aquinas came in. Um, and all of this beauty, all of this, all of this stuff, the beauty, I mean, from the Renaissance, that's where it essentially came from, where you make, where you basically draw, draw a more secular uh, depiction of Jesus and the family and all that stuff, that came from the Renaissance. Um, and the Enlightenment and the Industrial Revolution are responsible for the consumerism and all the presents and the lights and the decorations and all that stuff. But all the beautiful nativity scenes, that's all from the Renaissance when Jesus became secularized or when Christianity became secularized, which made it, made it beautiful, made it more, more of a selfish value because that's what art is. Art is a selfish value. Um, so yeah, there you go. The true meaning of Christmas is not Jesus. It's consumerism. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Peace.